What's up, YouTube? Today we're just gonna go through a little in-depth tour of what I got in this in the frog room. We're gonna show you guys a couple of dart frogs. We're gonna show you feeding the dart frogs and just what I do every day when I come in here and take care of the frogs. Most people keep their frogs on mist systems. I don't have any mist systems because I like to make sure that I'm coming in here every day and uh, checking on to myself. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna check for tadpoles for our breeding pair of dart frogs. Uh, we're gonna show you guys some tadpoles that they already have in a couple different stages. Um, and then we have some young frogs that we're raising up over here as well. We'll show you guys them eating. We'll also show you guys a little bit of what their enclosures look like. All of them have live plants. We plan on upgrading these top opening ones soon to all front opening enclosures, so stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, let's get into the feeding. Every day I come in with my bottle, my spray bottle, and distilled water. This water makes it so there's no like mineral streaks on the glass. As you guys can see, like the glass stays moist, so if you get uh, bad water, it's gonna leave like a build up a white residue on the glass, just which isn't pleasing. So we use distilled water. Why I don't use tap water is because the water in Virginia is pretty hard, at least in my county. I don't have well water or anything. So I just don't trust to put that water on my on the skin of my frogs. Uh, frogs, they everything basically goes through their skin. So a cut could easily kill your frog. They're super susceptible to infections or anything you spray onto their skin goes directly into uh, their bloodstream. So in the wild, they're poisoned dart frogs because in the wild, they're poison, they're poison dart frogs because of the food they eat. It just leaches right through their bloodstream onto their skin. So if you get, if you hold a poison dart frog in the wild and you have open wounds, you can easily become sick and possibly die just because of how strong those toxins are. In captivity, they're not poisonous because we feed them uh, fruit flies, which are non-toxic and an equivalent to what they do eat in the wild. So it's a win-win for the frogs and a win-win for people who get to watch them explore. So what I just do, I pump this sprayer bottle, it's a pump sprayer, and I come through, and I give each enclosure about a 10 second spray down. This allows for a natural uh, humidity, just like where they're from uh, naturally in the rainforest. And I do that with all four enclosures. So I'll speed that up for you guys. After a good spray down, I come get a couple of these homemade fruit fly cultures that I that I make here. This is what feeds our frogs every day, so this is like a necessity when keeping frogs. It'll be almost impossible to, to source these consistently for the amount that frogs need. And I feed moderately to heavy just depending on if I feel like the frogs are courting or breeding just so the mother puts that extra size on that she needs to produce these tadpoles as consistently as they do. But we just always want to make sure that there's no um, need for for food aggression or dominance because there's not make sure everybody eats and what i do is i take a culture in an empty cup take the lid off the culture and i tap it into the cup and flies fall down into the empty cup these cultures are getting down to the end of their life so There isn't as many, so I'm gonna use all four cultures just to feed today. Once we have a good amount of flies in here, this should be okay. It's gonna go through. I'm gonna go through with our calcium. Let's give it a couple taps in there. I give calcium with every meal because honestly it can't hurt them and the frogs need it in order to survive so do calcium and then uh shake it up and I open the enclosure and just tap a few in so
Last but not least, uh, the pretty easy part is we go through and feed all of our tadpoles. This is what they eat. Omega-1 mini pellet. It has most of the nutrients they need. I also mix that up with this. So just depending on the day, I alternate the feedings with a little like an algae wafer and the uh, whole seafood sinking pellets. I just give a few. I just give a few to our young tadpoles, as you can see. These guys are swimming around in these deli cups. That's two. And then the third one is here. I just go through with a pinch and sprinkle that in to the three of them. And they don't really come up and eat it while I'm here. I just come in the next day and it's all gone. So probably when the lights go out, they, they start to eat. But I also have some frogs that are turning into froglets that are pretty big as you guys can see right there it's a pretty big froglet right there and this water isn't dirty guys this is this is regular dechlorinated water but I use these Indian almond leaves and I put it in their water to give it tannins, this is actually helps reduce infections and they also have something to eat because they will chew on the leaves if they when it breaks down. So I have six, five of these, these size froglets, almost ready to come out the water. So they're down here on the ground, cups tilted. So whenever they're, cups tilted so whenever they're ready to come out, they can jump and, and get on some, some dry land. So this is what you do when your frogs get front and back legs. You take it, you tilt it, so whenever, and put lids, and whenever they're ready, they jump out, out of the water, on onto the dry part, okay? So you have them tilted, and they jump out, and that's how you know that they're ready to um, move into a dry enclosure. So I'm gonna go through feed them also. And yeah, that's mainly it for the frogs, man. So, man, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy that video, guys, smash the like button for me. Comment and subscribe. Keep being active on here. If you're an active supporter and you're always commenting or liking my videos, just drop a comment down for me so I know who you are. And yeah, appreciate you guys. Peace.